Hi, it's Lael Konkar. Guys, I want to share a very cool tool with you. It's an exclusive with scrapbook.com and it is the glitter brush marker. First thing I want to do though is show you how to open it and use it. So I am going to unscrew it. When I unscrew it, I am twisting counterclockwise. It has this little bright fluorescent yellow stopper. And that is so during shipment, it doesn't start dispensing the beautiful glitter. We don't want it to do that. So I'm going to take that off and I will then put that back on. And then I just pull the cap off and I'm ready to use it. So with this product, um, it dispenses a very soft shimmer. The nylon brush makes it very easy to apply. So generally what I like to do is to take a paper towel, or I could even do this on my little craft mat here. I want to squeeze the sides. And in fact, on the side, you'll see it says push. So that's where you can put your little fingers and squeeze the sides to start dispensing that beautiful shimmer. So the different techniques that I can do with this brush, you guys, honestly, what can't you do with it? So we're going to talk about five different techniques that you can do. The very first one is super simple. I'm going to use it to paint something that's already on a piece of pattern paper. So beautiful flowers on this paper. And I'm just going to paint those flowers. I'm just kind of working that across the designs. So very subtle dries beautifully, it's flat, um, I get that nice application. And I can do that on paper, I can do that with embellishments, I can really add that to any surface. All right, so that is our first technique. Our second technique, we are going to paint some different papers. So I'm gonna start out with just plain white cardstock. I'm gonna squeeze that little applicator there on the side. And you can see I get that nice, beautiful shimmer. And that is on white. You can just kind of get a feel for what that looks like. It's so pretty, but very subtle. And that's what's nice about it, that it is subtle, very neutral. All right, the next thing, let's take a look at what it looks like on a darker color. So there it is on black, right? And if I grab my piece of black cardstock, it's just so smooth and pretty. And if I want a little bit more shimmer, I just squeeze that and I get a little bit more shimmer that is coming out. So now that I have that really nice shimmered cardstock, I can actually use a punch with it. So I'm gonna take my little hexagon punch here and I will punch just a few little hexagons out. So I have custom hexagon shapes and I can add them to a card to make a beautiful card. And what I've done here is I've used a little bit of um, foam roll to pop those little hexagons up. And I've just glittered with the glitter brush marker a few of those shapes. So you can see I've left some plain, but isn't that really pretty? All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to embellish a stamp design. So I have a piece of white cardstock and I have a stamp. I am using the scrapbook.com black hybrid ink. And I'm using the hybrid ink because I don't want my ink to smear. So I'm gonna get that well inked up. And go ahead and stamp that design. Then in this case, I'm just going to paint part of my design. And as I come in tight, I am just painting the outside of that stamped image. And the fine tip on the marker is what gives me the ability to do that. So I can really get a lot of fine detail with that nice fine nylon tip. I can even come in if I wanted and go right over the words, right over the love. And if I need to get a little bit more on there, and in this case, I'm um, squeezing it out onto my mat because I don't want to um, end up with a, a large distribution, a little blob of that glitter there. And so, isn't that pretty? I've just given a little bit of accent to my stamped image there. So this is a clear glimmer, right? So it's very subtle, um, but it doesn't have a color to it. But I can get color with it, you guys. If I wanna add color, I can do that. I'm gonna come back in with my cardstock and I'm going to stamp this one again. 
Again, that hybrid ink, you guys, because I'm adding a little bit of liquid on top of that, I wanna make sure that I am not going to blend. Now, I need a little bit of color. So I'm going to take this beautiful carnival pink. Again, that's the hybrid ink that scrapbook.com has. And I am just inking the top of an acrylic block, a regular old acrylic stamping block. I'm gonna dip my marker in here to pick up a little bit of that color. And then I can come in and start to paint that color into my stamped image. So that is the beauty of having something like this that's so versatile because it is that clear shimmer. I can get basically any color that I want by just using one of my ink pads. All right, for our next technique, we're going to use a stencil. And this is the scallop stencil from scrapbook.com that I'm using. So we'll apply ink to the stencil and then we will apply that glitter brush marker over just the stenciled area. All right, so let's come in here and we'll put our little stencil right there. I'm using the Caribbean. And you guys, this is such a pretty color. And I am using the ink blending tool. If you guys don't know about this tool, this is not a video for the ink blending tool, but uh, this is amazing. And what makes it so amazing? The domed sponge. And you'll see, we're able to really get in a lot of um, tight little areas with that domed sponge. So I am just going to come in and apply my ink. This color is so pretty and I love it with the scallop, the scallop stencil because when we're done, after we apply that really pretty glitter brush marker, um, it is going to kind of look like a little mermaid and a beautiful, pretty light blue Caribbean scales. So now we will put that off to the side. And again, we are just going to apply our glitter brush marker and I'm just gonna do that to the areas where I have my ink. And again, because it is the fine tip lets me really get in there with quite a bit of detail. And I'm just painting those little fun scallops or our little mermaid scales. And there we go. So I would continue that process. Isn't that pretty? And it just gives it such a really neat, subtle effect. Our next technique, we're gonna use some texture paste. You guys, if you haven't played with texture paste before, and this is another example when I say play, um, this is a lot of fun. We're working with a lot of mixed mediums, different mediums, but it's really good to kind of play. So give yourself the freedom to play and give yourself the freedom to experiment. So we are going to start out with the snowflake stencil. And the snowflake stencil, actually, let me show you what this looks like when it is done. The snowflake stencil. I've used the opaque, the white color, on the white cardstock so you get that really pretty. But then I have gone in with my glitter brush marker and I've just touched up, just gone in there in those really fine, 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 even this little guy that is such a fine snowflake. And because of the preciseness of that little nylon brush, I'm able to get in right there. All right, so we're going to take our stencil and when you're working with a stencil like this, um, pay attention to the different designs that you have on the sheet. Because in this case, I wanna get a really good combination of some areas that have a bit more coverage to them where I'd be able to put more um, of the glitter brush when I'm done and some less. So we'll just kind of do that. And I'm gonna get out some of my paste. And this is again where my um, nonstick craft mat is really gonna come in handy. So I'll put that there. And I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. I wanna make sure to go the same direction because I don't want some of that paste getting underneath my stencil. So start at the top and work my way down. So we'll remove that. Then we need to let that completely dry. If you have a heat tool, you might use your heat tool, but definitely give that guy plenty of time to dry. I've gone ahead and let that dry, and then I'm using my glitter brush marker, and I am just painting the raised areas created by that medium. And what's so fun about this 
glitter brush marker, you guys, is that you can really apply it to any different medium. We've applied it to paper. We're applying it to texture paste. Again, that really fine tip lets me get into some really pretty intricate designs like on that snowflake. Another medium I can apply it to watercolor. Look at how pretty that is. So I just used the water brush markers, applied a little watercolor, and then I came in once it was dry with the glitter brush marker. And isn't that beautiful? So I have a little sample here. The top I have just come in with some watercolor and then I can just come in and let me get a little bit more on there and then just start painting on top. But really, you guys, it looks like water. It is just such a beautiful addition. A really simple, 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 easy technique, easy tool to use that gives you such a fun effect. And that's that glitter brush marker from scrapbook.com. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.